In this video, we'll look at how to use binomial theorem using combinations. I recommend you watch the other video on binomial theorem because you should be familiar with binomial theorem before you watch this video. Nonetheless, let's go through it. When you're using binomial theorem and you're doing combination style binomial theorem, we look at the exponent and we write 5 choose 0 and then the first thing in the brackets and the second thing in the brackets and the first thing is going to be to the power of 5 and the second thing to the power of 0. That's the pattern. Watch the pattern as they keep going. Plus, oh I forgot the negative here, that's really important. Better keep that in there. Okay, there's a negative. Next, it's going to be 5 choose 1 and now the first thing in the brackets but the exponent goes down 1 and the second thing in the brackets, didn't forget the negative that time, an exponent goes up 1. Now 5 choose 2. The first thing in the brackets to the power of 3. The second thing in the brackets to the power of 2. See the pattern here? It's 5 choose 0, then 5 choose 1, then 5 choose 2. And the first thing in the brackets starts at the exponent and counts down. The second thing in the brackets starts at 0 and is going to count up. So let's keep going. Now it's 5 choose 3. First thing in the brackets counts down. Second thing in the brackets counts up. 5 choose 4. First thing in the brackets counts down. Second thing in the brackets counts up. Last term. 5 choose 5. First thing in the brackets counts down. So it's now at 0. Second thing in the brackets counts up. So it's now at 5. And here it is again. 5 choose 0, 5 choose 1, 5 choose 2, 5 choose 3, 5 choose 4, 5 choose 5. First thing in the brackets, counting down from 5 down to 0. Second thing in the brackets, counting up from 0 up to 5. And now we just evaluate. You can use your calculator, but hopefully you'll know eventually 5 choose 0 is just 5. Whoa, that's incorrect. Wah. 5 choose 0 is just 1. Let's, we can check on our calculator to be sure, because I almost made a mistake there, or I did temporarily. Let's 5 choose 0. Whew, 1. Okay. 5 choose 0 is 1 times x squared to the power of 5. When you have an exponent on exponent, you multiply those exponents. And when you have an exponent of 0, anything to the power of 0 is just 1. Next, what's 5 choose 1? Hopefully this time you'll get it right. 5 choose 1 is 5. If you don't believe me, Check your calculator. It's 5 choose 1, 5. Exponent on the exponent, multiply the exponents. 2 times 4 is 8. And then to the power of 1 on this particular one, it's negative 1 over x. But you know what? I'm going to rewrite that just because it's going to be easier in a moment. Negative 1 over x, that's the same as negative. And let's change this 1 over x to x to the power of negative 1. That is, when you have an x on the bottom of a fraction, it's the same as a negative exponent. In this case, this is x to the 1, so bring it up over the line, change the sign, it's x to the power of negative 1. Keep going. 5 choose 2. What's 5 choose 2? That's 10. So here you have 10. Multiply the exponents, this is x to the power of 6. And here I'll rewrite again with the negative in front. Oh, except it's worth knowing, what's a negative squared? Negative times a negative? Positive. So there is not going to be a negative there. And I'm just going to get, instead of 1 over x, I'm going to write it as x to the power of negative 2. That is, this will be the same as 1 over x squared. Bring the x up. So now it's x to the power of negative 2. It's a negative exponent. What's 5 choose 3? 10. And that shouldn't surprise you because you know this comes from Pascal's triangle. There should be symmetry. 1, 5, 10. Now it's going to go 10, 5, 1. Here we have x squared to the power of 2, which is x to the power of 4. This time the negative gets to the power of 3, so two negatives cancel out, but there's one left. And this is 1 over x cubed, which is the same as x to the power of negative 3. What's 5 choose 4? Again, if you know choose, you'll know what it's going to be, which is just 5. And again, you see the pattern of Pascal's triangle, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5. You know what the next one's going to be. x squared to the power of 1 is just x squared. And then negative 1 to the power of 4, all the negatives cancel out. 
and you're left with x to the power of negative 4. Finally, 5 choose 5 is 1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. And here we have negative to the power of 5, so there'll still be a negative left over. And this will be x to the power of negative 5, because x to the power of negative 5 is the same as 1 over x to the 5. Now it'll get smaller real fast. Simplify. What's 1 times x10 times 1? Just x10 or x to the power of 10, I should say, plus 5. Here we have x to the power of 8. And then we have a negative here. We, might, we can save a line by doing it right now, because I know this negative will come out of the brackets and make this whole term negative. I get negative 5. And then I want to write x to the power of 8, but we also have this x to the power of negative 1, and you're multiplying them together. When you multiply, two different bases. First you multiply their coefficients, that's where this negative came from, and then you add their exponents. What's 8 plus negative 1? 8 plus negative 1 is 7. That's our second term. Third term, 10 just stays there. And here I have x to the power of 6 and x to the power of negative 2. I'm multiplying them together, so add their exponents. You get x to the power of 4. I know the pattern too, it's going to go plus, minus, plus, here it is again, a minus, and that minus is going to multiply on the 10, so I get minus 10, and now add the exponents of the same base x, x to the power of 4 times x to the power of negative 3, add their exponents, you just get x to the power of 1, and I'll leave the 1 out because it's preferable not to write exponent 1 if it's just an x. Now this term, we get plus 5, here's x squared times x to the power of negative 4, add the exponents, and the very last one is 1 times 1 times negative 1, so that's negative. I'll just leave the 1 out. x to the power of negative 5. And there's my full binomial expansion. What I did was I used the choose notation, that's from combinations, and I expanded and simplified using binomial theorem.